Hey, welcome back to Five Leaks Garage, and today we're going to do something really, really quick. Actually, all we're going to do is actually check the fluid in this lower unit. It is a little bit different than a lot of things you ever do. I mentioned in a previous, pre previous video that it's kind of like a transfer case or a differential. You keep putting fluid until it pours out. Well, this is a little bit different from which I've learned. So, you need to go out and actually get a kit. Now, if you look on, <clears throat> on the end of this, this is, it gets screwed in. So, you actually go from the bottom, pump up, and let all the air out, and then that actually fills it up with fluid. Now, don't forget to get yourself a bucket. This has to come down to where it's relatively level with the ground because you do want to use gravity as your level. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing set up and show you how to hook this up. Here we go. All right, I did have to pull it forward because I could not get the lower unit down far enough. This is relatively level with the ground, and that's kind of what we want. So you have your vent right here. It actually says vent. I should have read that earlier. And also, this is where you plug it in. So what we're going to do is unplug this, hook this up, and then fill the fluid all the way up. Now, you definitely want to have fluid in here, or you can strip out every gear you got in here. Not a good plan. All right, get yourself the biggest screwdriver you got because this is a long screw. I mean, it's wide. It's not really long. All right, so I do have an end. I did have to take that little adapter off because this is made for a smaller unit. Uh, this is the first time doing this, so I'm still learning how I go. So as long as you don't take this one out, it shouldn't pour out that much. So you don't have to be that quick with it, but relatively quick. I still got it all over my hands. So let's take it out the vent. Maybe. All right. So now we're just gonna pump this up until it starts pouring out of here. There we go. All right, so I just pumped in a bunch of stuff in there to actually get some of the old stuff out. I do see some of the new stuff coming out, so we should be in okay shape. Still gonna have a little bit of the old stuff, but hey. I think we'll be in okay shape. Now, later on, when I go through this at lower end, I'm gonna go ahead and drain out everything and add new fluid. I've had this fluid for a really long time, so I'm not overly concerned about wasting a little bit of it, but make sure you recycle your oil foil as well. All right, got my vent in there, so it should not actually come out that hard. So let's unscrew that. Actually, before I put it up there, always look at your tip. Now this is magnetic, and make sure you don't have any major shavings in there. I do have a little bit of shavings on this, but it's not horrible. I have seen worse. All right, the little unit is ready to go. I'm getting ready to take it out for the first time. You can be able to see that on Five Lakes ODL, outdoor living. So I'm gonna put my GoPro on my nugget and then we're gonna see if we can catch some fish. Sun's about to go down, so we're not gonna have that much time. So I get to get out there quick, but I do wanna get in on this maiden voyage to see how well this thing is done with all the work we've done to it. Check out all the other videos if you wanna know any tips and tricks and all that stuff, and especially all the stuff that I've learned so far, because this is my first outboard. My dad had one when I was a kid, but I didn't work on it. I'm working on this one. Uh, I got full fluid here. I got spark. I got fuel. I am ready to go. Check out all the other videos and be safe and maintain your equipment. Light off.